whenever I needed a background processor for my Rails application, I've always turned to the Whenever Gem. However, more recently I found that when I deploy multiple web servers, I really don't like having to maintain one server that is the master, either through a environment variable or some other means. Instead, I like keeping all of my web servers exactly the same. And this can be very beneficial because it's less to maintain. However, the Whenever Gem really does not solve this issue. So today we're going to look at the gem called Psychic Cron. Now this is not an official Psychic repository, however it's one that someone else has made and it does work with ActiveJob. And in order to get this functionality with Psychic, you would have to upgrade to their enterprise version. So for an open source project or for a small project, it may not really warrant spending that kind of money if you don't really have the funds available. So as a disclaimer, you do want to be careful using something like Psychic Cron because you're not guaranteed that the periodic task may not run multiple times. However, I have tested it out. It does seem to do a fairly good job. However, just keep in mind that this is not part of the Psychic repository, but it is a third party add on. So as a good precaution, any jumps that you're loading up with Psychic Cron, make sure that they are unimpotent, meaning that they can run multiple times without consequence from the first time it ran. So to get started, we'll add the Psychic Cron to our gem file. And make sure that you run button restart your Rails application. And then under your config, initializers, psychic.rb file, you'll need to add a few more lines to your config server. So this is setting the variable schedule file, and it's setting this to a file under the config schedule.yaml. If this file does exist, then it'll load in the Psychic Cron job, it's loading from the hash and then loading in the YAML file. So under the config directory, I'll go ahead and create a new file and I'll just call this schedule.yaml. And within here, I'll paste in some text. And the first line is just the label for this job. So we'll look at the cron syntax in a minute. And then the class is the job that we're going to execute. And then we're loading this into the queue default. So the anatomy of a cron schedule looks something like this, where you have five asterisks and each asterisk can take in a certain value. If it's left as an asterisk, then that means it will perform at any point. So as this command is set with all asterisks, it's going to run every minute of every day of every month. If we were to set the minute to zero, then it would run once an hour at the top of the hour. The second asterisk denotes the hour. If we were to set this to one, then it would run every minute during the one hour or 1 a.m. The day of month is the day in which the month occurs. The fourth asterisk month denotes which month the command will run in. And day of the week denotes zero through six, and that's going to be Sunday for zero, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday would be the one through six. So an example of a cron task, if we have zero, nine through 18, asterisk, asterisk, and then one through five, this will run once an hour from 9 a.m to 6 p.m. on Monday through Friday. Because we have this set to run at the top of the hour from 9 to 18, which is in military time. Then asterisk, asterisk, so we don't care about the day of the month or the month. And then it's going to run on Monday through Friday. Another complex example may look something like this. And this will run every 10 minutes during the months May, July, and November. And there is also a nice little web UI for this that adds on to the Psychic UI. Under the Require Psychic Web, you can add in the Require Psychic Cron Web. And this will just automatically add in a tab into the Psychic Web UI. So that's all we really have to do to get this set up. And now every minute, once we restart our Psychic Worker, it'll perform our Generate Random User job. So to test this out now, I'll just run the Psychic service within my application folder. Then I'll also start up my Rails server. And then under your Psychic web UI, there's a cron tab. And then you can see where it has the cron job and the last time it's executed. So I'll put this on fast forward and you'll be able to see the number of process go up as is running every one minute. Well, that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. For more videos, check out driftandruby.com.